What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here. Want to answer a question, and you know, there's probably a couple different ways that I would answer this, but um, someone asked um, about starting up their financial coaching program, their own pr practice, excuse me, and they want to take as many of the kind of gold standard courses that are out there, right? So they wanted to take Dave Ramsey, Financial Peace University. They wanted to take some of these other financial coaching programs. You know, there, uh, you know, I know Kelsey Dickey has a uh, financial coaching academy. There are some courses provided by some online groups, NAFIC and, you know, FinCERT and some of these other. Anyway, um, and they all cost money. You know, this is how these programs sustain themselves. And I certainly don't uh, fault them for that. But, you know, there are some good ones. There are some really good ones that feed you with a fire hose that kind of keep it focused on what you need. You know, there, there are some that focus on the financial coaching or counseling discipline. There are some that focus on like the financial habits and discipline, right? The Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University is there. Things like uh, FinCert or AFC and things like that kind of focus on the process. Um, so, uh, you know, this person wanted to take as many of these as is humanly possible or as reasonable, but the issue was having the money to do it, being able to afford doing all these things. So there are a couple things that I would say here. You know, especially on the certification and education side, many of them are going to be similar. If you are really trying to immerse yourself, what I would do is I would probably go after the ones that are the most comprehensive. You know, the AFC certification by AFCP is probably the one to me that's one of the most um, the most valuable. All right, there is really going to be um, there's going to be a way to hack that. Okay, a life hack that on the Financial Peace University side, right? This is a, a class that's usually offered through churches. Dave Ramsey is a, a very religious guy. He usually goes through religious organizations to provide this as a course. So if you want to take that, you, you can too. Now, my hack for getting the value out of these, but you won't get the certification. You won't become a graduate. You can't uh, say like, hey, I officially took this, right? is to figure out how to do it without spending money. Now, I would also say this, if it's a situation where you have the funds and you've even budgeted for it, but you're just trying to not part with money, from a, a moral standpoint, you want to, and I'm not talking about like morally right or something, but I think you want to be in a place where you are financially stable, you can afford to do these things, and you believe in investing in yourself, okay? So for me, you know, there's lots of ways that, you know, I can use software, free trials and things like this and blah, 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 you know, and reset my computer. And I know people do it to get another 15 free days of stuff. And, you know, and if you really have no money to do any of that stuff, you can do it. And that works. You know, it's not illegal or anything like that. As far as I know, it's just the terms and conditions of that software are being violated. Um, but to me, if I want a piece of software or a tool or something like that, and I think it's worth it, I just pay for it, right? And I'm going to use it, I'll, I'll pay for it. I want the people who built it and you know are providing me a shortcut and some value to, to get comp for that as well. So if you can pay for it and that's something in your budget and you know you have the money and the wherewithal to do it, you know I would do it, right? I mean, I would do it officially, get that certification, get that course done, right? Say you took it officially. Now on the Dave Ramsey side, I do think the Financial Peace University is very good. I want to say, I don't know how what it is now. I taken a while but it's kind of like seven six or seven recorded dvd sessions um you know that are maybe 45 30 45 15 minutes long and then you do a workbook portion you know kind of your own exercise on it and it's very good it's 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 motivational there's a lot of good kind of basic information kind of good basic personal finance in it that's really what starts and it's very focused on getting out of debt and staying out of debt right so the issue there to me is that uh it's not that expensive. So if you find a church or a local organization that is providing it, it is usually $99 a couple. I would say um, kind of the official way to hack it is if you can't afford it to maybe approach a church and say, hey, listen, this is something I really want to do. You don't have any debt. I think this could be a little harder to um, make a case for you if you're trying to say hey I'm trying to build a business and you should probably invest some money in the business but if you really don't have any money you could say listen um, you know I want to help people I really want to take this this uh, course uh, this class I don't have the money for it is there any way to get a discounted price or to maybe get uh, a grant from this or you know um, have the church and the membership you know allow me to attend or maybe not even attend and get the workbook per se but if could i sit there um another way is to volunteer for it you know i have volunteered for it not to take the courses but um i can't remember what it was called uh it was another course uh freedom oh i can't see the book there um 
but uh, it, kind of a, another Financial Peace University course. And I was asked by a friend of mine who was organizing it if I would be one of the um, the guides, like a table table guide. And so I did. Um, I got to see the course. I got a free workbook out of it. You know, I went through it. Um, I was seeing it live for the first time with those people, but I was able to kind of help lead and guide those people. So that's another way you might have to do some work and you might have to share your personal stories. I mean, uh, it, you know, being at the table and um, being the person who is supposed to kind of control the conversation doesn't necessarily mean you've got it all figured out. So that could be another way to, to actually volunteer to be there and you're getting the content for free. The other thing is to search around the web. So this is probably the least smooth way to do it um, and kind of the sketchiest, although not illegal, but some people have illegally posted the, the Dave Ramsey content in various places. You know, you might be able to go on YouTube and find Financial Peace University session number one or whatever it might be and watch those. And you probably don't have the workbook and so you want to understand you know when he's talking about this is the activity that you're going to do and you see the benefit of going through that and all that but you'll see the content uh, in session number two three four five six seven one or however many sessions modules are all right so that's how you can kind of hack it again i think you're going to get the meat of that the point of it the content of it but you're not a graduate of the class you haven't done the exercises all you can do is kind of now have an understanding of what they're providing and that could really actually help supercharge you and at least get you familiar with what other programs are offering um kind of the table stakes for the financial education all right on the certification side um, if you want the certification, you're going to have to pay for it. The only other way to get the certification to hack these is, is kind of twofold. The more official way is to become employed with an organization or an agency that has a relationship or will pay for it. You know, um, certainly when I started out, I was working as a financial coach for a Fortune 500 financial services organization and they had the funds to pay for everyone's certification licensing training travel all of these things i mean um every tool that the certifications provided uh was available to me right so i took the review sessions i went to the i went to the resort for the week to take the test and participate in the symposium and all this other stuff right so that is a great way to do it because it's all on your dime and you're not shortcutting it and stressing it or anything like that i mean when you're traveling on the company's dime the meals are included too, right? So that's a great way to do it. Now, if you do that, the ethical thing, in my opinion, to do is to provide them the value back. And so I would do that job. The The pro of that is if they are paying you a salary, you know, anywhere from thirty to $45,000 for a financial coach, I think is actually kind of the market rate for an employee. You know, might get benefits and everything. That might This might be a great way to learn this business and this discipline on someone else's dime. And then a year from now, two years from now, maybe you want to go on your own. Maybe you want to build up a, a, a business on your own outside while you're working there with clients that don't compete with that organization or agency. That's certainly uh, possible too. You can even when I had coaches working for me, uh, a lot of times they would say, hey, I want to kind of start my own coaching practice. It wasn't a problem. We were only working with, at the time, employees of companies, of, of our client companies. So if you wanted to go out and uh, recruit someone directly to pay you a one-on-one -on -one coaching, that was fine. I had no problems with it. I encourage you. I challenged. In fact, the, the channel right here started on a challenge with one of my coaches who wanted to start a business. And I said, and I was worried that she was not going to have the follow through to do it. And I said, I'm going to start a financial coaching channel too. Um, um, and let's, let's both start marketing ourselves as financial coaches today. That's why this channel uh, initially existed. Now, I have expanded this out because uh, it's been a great place to network and, and meet you guys and, and hopefully help and learn a lot from financial coaches as well. Now, the third way to hack this, especially with the AFC, is that the AFC is really reading, uh, I think, three, and I think it's still three, key books. Personal Finance, and it's not by Gorman anymore. I can't remember who it is. But if you just go to the AFCPE website, look at the AFC certification, I even think that they list or they have a picture of the three books. Um, there is Surviving Debt by the National Law Center, I believe is one of them. Uh, there's Personal Finance. Uh, I can't remember who it's by now, but it's... it's you, and you can Google these things too. There are a number of people who are taking the test and they have provided the information on what book. And then there's three. It's a financial counseling book, but they have changed that over the years too. I can't remember the organization that... that uh, runs that so if you want to just order those three books they're available on amazon basically go read through them go through them you know do the little practice exams or the review sessions in the back of each chapter or whatever you're going to effectively have the certification knowledge you're not going to have the certification doesn't mean you would have passed the test because you may not be memorizing stuff the way you need to for the test but you have basically hacked that certification you have the knowledge base that the other people have going into that certification so that is how um, to me, 
or those are some options for getting the experience, the knowledge, the exposure to either the financial uh, training programs, courses that are out there, or the certifications without having to pay something or anything. So hopefully that helps. I'll see you later.